I set out on section 8 of the trail on a pretty dismal day. It was raining and it was a little bit cold, but the scenery was brilliant. As you head out from Aliaga, you follow the river gorge and the scenery really is brilliant. It was nice easy riding, mostly downhill to start with, along a really nice paved road and I was really enjoying it. Just heading out on the start of stage 8 uh, from Aliagra. Not the best weather, at least it's not rainy at the moment. Uh, I hope we make a few kilometres today. There's not that much climbing ahead of me today, so I hope to at least do 70 or 80 kilometres. We'll see what happens. The scenery heading out of Aliagra and also into Aliagra at the end of stage 7 is really spectacular following the uh, Guadalupe river uh, would have been even nicer if the river was better but that's the way it is better get going the old aliaga uh, power station is pretty interesting it's a nice place to have a look around uh, after a while the road turned off the main road down onto a track and i ended up in a cow pasture and here my uh, gps sent me the wrong way and i ended up hiker biking up a really really rough track i don't really think the track goes this way and it took a while until i found my way back onto the proper track itself a lot of hard work but i did manage to stay out of the rain and had a pretty good ride all around just about to head into a long dark tunnel i can see the light at the end of the tunnel but apparently it's supposed to be three kilometers long so we see what this is like once we start rolling. Might have to stop and get the uh, headlight out. It was weird setting off down the tunnel. Um, because I could see the light at the end of the tunnel, it didn't really feel like the tunnel was that long. And I kept riding and it just got darker and darker and darker. And uh, the light at the end of the tunnel didn't appear to be getting any bigger. It just sort of hovered there in the distance. Now, I continue to ride uh, in the dark. It's not something that I recommend. You should really stop and get your light out because it got pretty scary at times and it's difficult to keep your balance in the dark when you don't have any, any reference point. And I'm quite sure I was close to uh, at least cycling into the walls a couple of times. Uh, but in the end, I got there, but it did take a long time and I'll just speed through the rest of it.
we're now traveling along at 800%, like eight times the normal speed. And you can still see how slowly the light at the end of the tunnel is growing. But I finally made it and I didn't even crash, so that was all right. This was the first of many tunnels later on that were pretty long and didn't have lights. So if you're riding this section, I recommend getting your light out and having it ready. After the long tunnel, there was some really nice riding along a railway track. And uh, I enjoyed it, managed to cover a fair few kilometres, and finally stopped at an old train carriage that had been converted into a cafe. I ended up staying in that town, bought the night, and I actually found a place that had an opportunity to both wash the bike and to um, service it in a bike stand. It was an old converted olive press factory and it was a really, really nice place to stay. A bit expensive, but it was worth it. Pretty nice day yesterday. It looks like it's going to be a nice day even today. And uh, I know that I'll be turning off the uh, old trail line onto an ordinary trail just ahead, and uh, hopefully I'll be meeting somebody in the next town. Uh, but we'll see what happens. I hope it's going to be a nice day, and I hope to uh, finish stage eight today. I met Matthias uh, in the next town. He's riding, uh, uh, heading south along the trail. He started out from Barcelona and he's heading down south. And uh, we talked a bit about the trail and I showed him the 360 camera and how it works. And uh, we had a general chat and gave each other a few tips about what's coming up and the ways we are heading. Uh, Matthias is actually riding it uh, on a bike which he has built the frame on himself, which is pretty cool. There was plenty of more really interesting riding, both along uh, smaller tracks, like some double track stuff, some uh, tractor uh, paths, through uh, vineyards, through olive groves, up along the mountainside. And there was also some really nice riding along some uh, uh, paved roads as well, some nice downhill sections, a few uphill as well, a bit of hard work. but. All in all, it's a nice, comfortable section with some beautiful views and a really enjoyable riding. I made it into Grata Chops reasonably early in the morning, rewarded myself with uh, some uh, coffee and some extra sugar, had a sandwich, and then set off on the next stage almost straight away. 